If you have a road trip planned and you are wondering what are the right sunglasses for the next time I'm on the road or just in general, you drive a lot. It's and you're looking for your next pair of sunglasses. Have we the list for you? As a quick reminder, the way we come up with these lists is not only because we are very tenured opticians with tons of experience and we know what features work for what, but also we get feedback from you, the customer, what works well, what is not working, and also just raw data, the numbers, the sales, what people are liking, what people are buying. Uh, we have a, a fair amount of options on the table, some pretty, I think, classic driving styles, of course, included, but hopefully something a little different to give you some more variety in your options. Uh, TJ, why don't you go ahead and give it a start? Pick your favorite pair. You know which one I'm gonna go with. I, I, I gotta always start out with it with Sporter X Toxin. Why, because it's our frame? Not really, I'm just a huge fan of it for a multitude of reasons. You've heard us talk about this frame so many times in so many other videos, but we're gonna just repeat it once more just for the sake of it. Here you'll see it is uh, with the red Inferno lens, but what I really love about it, it's a bio-resin uh, frame material. It's got locking temples, kind of thinned out, fits well beneath a hat, as you always see, we're usually wearing hats, and so you don't necessarily have to worry about the brim coming in contact, very comfortable, lightweight, you got rubber nose pads, rubber temple tips, extremely lightweight as I already mentioned, and just a great option all around, but especially for driving. Yes, uh, it is also a few more details uh, when it comes to sizing. This has an SFW of 136 millimeters. Why don't you throw it on so people can see yeah, what it looks definitely. like on the face. Let me pop these guys off. Feedback from people in the comments saying, try them on so we can see. All right, well, we'll Let me start pop this doing guy that. Up a little bit there. Uh, I'd say it's a pretty solid large fit, but actually we like to be inclusive. We even came out with an XL fit that you can get now. If you are a particularly large fit, and you struggle with getting sunglasses, they always seem to be just a little too small. Well, we have an XL that is a proper XL and would be an awesome option for you. Another thing to note that I like about this style is that it's a six base, which is a really good all around. Do keep that in mind if you're looking for a, a heavy wrap. This isn't a heavy wrap. One of the other benefits of it being a six base or a mid wrap design is that it is very accommodating when it comes to prescriptions, but still a nice large lens. So you still get plenty of coverage. Absolutely, and uh, for size and reference, I'm about 6'1", about 190. Uh, my SFW or Sporter X frame width is approximately 133 millimeters. Uh, and what did we say this one was? 136? 136. Yeah. So it frames yeah. the, the, the face pretty well. Yeah, a little uh, big for, for Tyler, I'd say. I think you fit in the Coda. The Coda you know, fits me more. really, really well. I, yeah. yeah, and I think you you tend to do better with larger fits, True. slightly larger fits than I do, despite the fact that we probably look like the same guy. <laughs> we do uh, have different fits, at least a little bit. Okay, yeah. uh, I'm gonna go for probably, oh, not the newest on the table. We have a new, new, new. Uh, but we do have a pretty new guy on the table yeah. here. It's an Oakley. This is a really good classic style. It's called the Helio Stat. Uh, if you are a big fan of the gas can, if you are a big fan of the fuel cell, this is actually kind of in that same family of design. You have that nice thick temple, really classic Oakley stylings. Uh, interestingly enough, actually still that same mid wrap. It's still a six base. Uh, but it comes across as more of an eight base just by the design, the frame design. So it's a really unique style. Uh, something to note, there is no grip either on the temple nor on the uh, the nose piece. However, thanks to Oakley's three point fit system, you don't have to worry about them falling off your face. Really solid fit, really solid design. Uh, and of course, prism options if you're looking for lenses, really good assortment of lenses. Uh, and when it comes to sizing, this has an SFW also of 136 millimeters, so a good large fit. Um, and if you are familiar with the gas can, a little closer to the gas can fit, as opposed to the fuel cell, which is a little bit larger. Is this a uh, eight base wrap or a it's six base wrap? It's actually a six, so the frame is really interesting in design. When you measure, when you actually clock the lens, it is the case with the, the gas can. Again, the gas can is also a six and the fuel cell is a six, even though again, it has that really wrapped design. If you look at the frame, there's more frame material on this side. You'd almost think a little bit True. of kind of a, a, a hood design, but it's not. Yeah. It's just a little more frame to give it a, a effectively a wrap design, even though it is still more of a six base. And there's not a whole lot of volume, which uh, obviously makes it v uh, pretty RXable. Uh, so if you're somebody who's been told that due to your prescription strength, you can't get into a high wrap frame, this might be a suitable option to really consider.
Yeah. All right, what's your next pick? Ooh, you know, I gotta go with the uh, with the Randolphs. I've been a fan of Randolphs for uh, so many years, mainly because they have perfected the bayonet temple, and I think that's really the standout feature with this particular frame. It just feels like a warm hug against this, the sides of the head. Uh, because it is uh, a four base wrap, it is very RXable. However, if you have a stronger than average prescription strength, you may notice a little bit of thickness on the sides. It doesn't hide the thickness too well, but still will accommodate most prescription strengths. Explain the bayonet temples a little bit better. Yeah, the bayonet temples have a little bit of wrap there in the back. They are somewhat adjustable, but it's a little bit thicker or broader, I should say, uh, vertically. And what it does is it alleviates a pressure point in one particular area and really helps to like... To simplify it a little bit, Thank instead you. of it wrapping, uh, hooking around the ear, it's more of a straight back temple design, but they give you a little bit more thickness in that uh, bayonet design. Like he was mentioning, it's a little bit thicker give you a little bit more comfort. Uh, effectively, it's gonna stay on your head really, really well with a little more of a, a, a unique uh, temple design, which is kind of more of a throwback design. Another thing to note about Randolph in general, really quality builds. You notice Very it immediately. So. You hold them, they feel substantial. Also, US made. All, all, all the way through and have been since the beginning. I think they're still family owned even. Yes. Uh, out of Boston, Massachusetts, really, classic Americana design. Uh, and if you're a fan of that double bridge, but the typical aviator, that teardrop design is a little too much for you, a little too, uh, you know, CHP vibes. The navigator <laughs> design, even though they call this an aviator, it's not your typical teardrop aviator design. It's more of a navigator design, which I think is awesome and really classic and really a, a timeless piece. Awesome. So Tyler, why don't you try these on? Yeah, absolutely. And you can talk about sizing while I'm doing so. Yes, the Randolph Aviator comes in three distinct sizes. So whatever size requirement you need, you are covered. It comes basically in a small all the way to XL, but really, as I mentioned, three distinct sizes. I think Tyler is wearing the medium size right now and those medium actually look large. pretty good. Yeah, those look pretty mm -hmm. good on you. I like them. I dig it. One other thing to consider, we did mention that they are highly RXable, but if you don't require a prescription, you're somebody that appreciates a glass lens material, of course that means a little bit more weight, a little less safety component because they're not as impact and shatter resistant, but people still appreciate sophistication and a little bit more solidity, I guess, on the face. Yeah, a little more substantial Thank you. feeling. For Thank sure. You. That's uh, better and work. also, nothing compares to glass when it comes to scratch resistance. Very much. Of course, you lose a little bit of impact resistance. They are a bit heavier. Uh, however, a lot of people just swear by glass and it's not super common to come by. So yeah. that is a good point to add. And speaking of glass, I did uh, reference these as new new, but they're not new new. They've actually been around for a little while. This is a Serengeti Pistoia. Uh, and they are really, you can't talk about driving sunglasses without talking yeah. about Serengeti because they kind of created that classic driving sunglass look. Uh, and with the Pistoia, you are actually getting a proper wrap design. Uh, when I mentioned glass, they work with mineral glass. You get in, uh, in non-prescription, but actually, finally, you guys, they have glass available in prescription again, and I am so very excited about it. Uh, everything when it comes to lenses with Serengeti is going to be a photochromic lens. If you're not sure what photochromic means, you might have then be more familiar with transitions. That's a right. brand name. Photochromic's a more generic term. Uh, and they're they're awesome. They work actually better in the car than your your typical pair of, of, of photochromic sunglasses. Uh, they are always pretty dark. If you're looking for something that goes from a clear to a dark lens, you're not gonna get that because they're sunglasses. They are a sunglass company, but they do get dark and they have a good wide range of lens options that are super amazing. Let's talk a little bit more specifically about the Pistoia. So I mentioned a good wrap design. There is no grip on it, but again, a really good fit system, a slight bend on the temple uh, and a good, you know, typical saddle nose bridge design, a really classic, straightforward wrap design, but with some amazing lens options. That is the Serengeti Pistoia. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 135 millimeters, which is gonna land you in that good medium to large range. Yeah, really cool design, design aesthetics too. As he mentioned, eight base wrap, kind of like a thinner temple, but doesn't create any uncomfortable pressure points. Just a solid through and through, great frame. 
Oh, uh, another thing to mention on them, uh, they don't have spring hinges. I'm a big Ooh, fan of, of not having spring hinges. Just a little more durable, a little more longevity. You're gonna get out of the frame, I think, without that spring hinge design. Okay, uh, pick another one, TJ. All right, let's go with the, you know, I'm gonna go with a little bit more feminine aesthetic. Let's take a look at the Maui Jim Starfish. Obviously a bit bigger of a lens. This is gonna come in at a six base design, so still makes it pretty RXable. This is not a full wrap. Uh, we were mentioning spring hinges. These do happen to have that, which some people uh, prefer. A little bit of wrap at the back half of the temple, but if you need some adjustment, it's got that metal rod running through the center there. So if you need to tighten it up or loosen it up, or you want to straighten out some temples according to your individual fit, you can do so. But you still have the added grip at the nose pad right there. So you can be sure that these are not going to move around even after you loosen them up a tad to fit your individual needs. Yeah, so like he mentioned, a little more of a feminine design. Uh, I did want to make sure that we fit in a more women-specific frame. Correct. But again, let's not forget, we're all inclusive. We're not exclusive. So you can definitely, if you're a man, you're liking this style, don't feel shy. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 135 millimeters, which would be more of the medium, medium to large for a man, but more of a pretty solid large for a women's fit. And they're amazing. They These, these do really well. And of course, you can't, not talk about lens technology with Maui Jim as well. Some Amazing of the best. Amazing polarized lens options, incredible. Their polarized plus two technology is amazing. All of their coatings are just so solid, so durable. Uh, and you can, like he mentioned, RX ability, you can get those same amazing Maui Jim lenses in your prescription. Can you believe it? I can, because we sell them all the time and we love them. Okay, uh, next up, Again, what you can't talk about driving sunglasses in this case without that classic aviator. I feel like maybe I threw a little bit of shade on that teardrop design, but- Shade. Yeah. But it's not bad. It, it definitely is a classic look, which looks really good on a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, and, and you can't go wrong with this. This is, by the way, Ray-Ban's classic aviator, the RB3025. Uh, and it, it's amazing. Another option that comes in three different sizes. Uh, exactly. I'm pretty sure I have the small here. And the small is pretty itty bitty. Uh, and these are very thin temples. So you can see I'm squinting uh, to see. Yep, so this is the 55 eyesight. So it's pretty small. This is a small, almost an extra small for a man. It's pretty small. I tend to wear smaller frame styles and this is even too small on me. Yeah. The 55 might be the smallest uh, because it is pretty darn small, then it might be 58 and 62. Correct. Uh, but this is definitely a smaller fit, uh, and they, but again, don't worry about it. They have you covered across the board. And if you do have any questions when it comes to sizing, that's what we're here for. We have opticians who have your back and will take care of you, make sure that you get exactly what will work best for you. You cannot go wrong when you shop with Sporter X. Last but not least, we have the Maui Jim Kanayo Coast that you can see right here. Right off the bat, you can see this is a pretty full um, eight base wrap design, full frame, but lots of grip. You have the rubber inlays at the back of the temple. The temples are also very flexible. Spring hinge for those who uh, appreciate that. And An internal a, spring hinge. Internal hinge. spring hinge, yeah. And a textured nose pad that is also rubberized right there on the bridge. And I'm gonna try these guys on. These come in at a Sporter X frame width of 132 millimeters, making them around a medium size for men's and a large for women's. Pretty solid medium. I'd say more medium large for women. It, this is on, I think, the smaller side of medium when it comes for uh, when it comes to a men's fit uh, and a really good classic, you know, wrap design. And again, Maui Jim, so incredible lenses. Let me throw it on. And uh, TJ, why don't you uh, tell them where they can go and what they should do and who they should talk to and where they should get these from. Well, whether or not you need prescription gifts, call us Sport Rex. We can guide you towards choosing the right styles. But if you do need prescription, we can get you to the right lens materials, the right lenses for your individual driving needs, as I've mentioned so many times here. So give us a call. We would love to chat you up. And you could also take advantage of our chat feature online or send us an email or leave a comment and we'll get back to you. Check us out on our socials too. We have good stuff there. Yeah. I like it. Cool. Now that you know our top picks for driving, why don't you check out the video that we did on our top picks for just sports in general. We got all, all sports covered and it's a pretty good uh, wide range of options for you. And I think you might like that. So check it out. Get through over there.